Hey guys, welcome back to Modern View. Today we're going to be going over tours. In a nutshell, this is when you rotate from camera to camera on the live view in a timed interval. The other way to do tour mode is that you could also set it up so that anytime a camera captures motion, it puts that particular camera on full screen. This can be useful for a lot of different ways, especially if you guys have active security guards that need to monitor. And uh, it's a really great way to just keep an eye on all of your cameras at once in full detail. So to get into that and show you guys how to activate tour mode, we're gonna need to be on the NVR interface. So let's get into that and show you guys how it's done. Okay guys, now that we're on the NVR, the first thing we wanna do is go from the live view to the main menu. So right click and then choose main menu. Then we wanna select the display option, which is actually on the second page. To access the second page, we wanna click on the little dot just above storage here. That will flip pages, and then we see our option for display in the upper left corner. Once we click on display, we're going to choose tour from the options on the left side. And then once we're on the tour page, here we want to enable the tour as the first thing that we do. Next, for this demonstration, I wanna show you guys how to do multiple types of viewing for your cameras. So first, we're gonna show you guys how to do your cameras one by one so that whenever they're rotating between the cameras, it brings each one up in full screen and then we'll switch over to the next one. To set this up, we wanna to go to window split and we wanna choose view four and uncheck any options here. Then we wanna choose view eight and do the same thing. We wanna uncheck everything. What we're doing here is we're basically eliminating the different views that we want the NVR to rotate through leaving only view one as our checked options. And as you see here, I've got view one and all eight cameras checked. And then up here, you can even change your interval. So I'm gonna change my interval to seven seconds. So that means it will stay on each camera full screen for seven seconds before it rotates to the next. So once we hit apply, I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. And as you see here, it does rotate through the cameras in the order that it's on that list. Okay, so now that you guys understand the basics of that, I'm gonna show you a couple of different options that you can do with your live view. Okay, as you'll notice here, I can actually change the cameras around in the order that they appear. I can also choose to not see some of the cameras by unchecking them. So you guys can play around with this as much as you want. Use the add and delete button, as well as the move up and move down triggers down below to adjust your cameras exactly how you wanna see them. So as for example, I'm gonna just do one, seven, two, and six. And then as you can see, I'll go to the live view and it rotates between those. Okay, next I'm gonna show you guys the quad view. This is a little bit more useful, especially if you have more cameras. So for this one here, I'm actually going to eliminate the view one options. And then I'm gonna go back to view four and actually engage those. So as you can see, I've got channels one through four, and then I've got channels five through eight, giving me two different full page sets of quad views for my cameras. So every interval, this will just rotate between the four cameras back and forth until you guys either take it off tour or change it yourselves. So again, you guys can customize this and you don't have to have necessarily channels one through four. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how that could be done by changing those up. So here I'm just gonna do a quad view of one, three, five, and seven. And then I'm gonna do two, four, and six, eight for my other quad view. Once I hit apply, it puts those cameras together. There's multiple ways you guys can customize the way these cameras are laid out. So have fun with it and try to figure out the best thing that works for you guys. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to engage motion detection with your tours. Now for this, we're actually going to go into the main menu and then into alarm, then video detection. And I'm going to make sure that my motion detection is enabled. And then I'm also going to check this little option down here. And this is called tour. And what that does is that anytime this camera picks up motion, it will full screen on my tour or whatever settings I have it adjusted to. So for example, I'm gonna take these few cameras, I'm gonna set them up for motion detection as well as enabling tour motion on the cameras. Then I'm going to go back to my display options and then I'm gonna see here that I have motion tour or motion detection as view one. This means that anytime a camera picks up motion, it will go to a full screen view of that particular camera. So if we wanna see that in action, here we'll do a demonstration here and I'll go walk through the building and activate the cameras. Now, something really cool that you guys can do is if you do this view eight where it has a big screen and that has all the other ones sort of laid out on the outside in smaller screens, 
this is a good one for motion because it will put the camera that it's picking up motion on into this center larger one but you'll still be able to maintain viewing on all of your other cameras on the sides so it's easy to set up you just do view 8 and then you also set up your motion for view 8 and then hit apply and then go to your live view and it looks like this all right guys that is all i have for tour mode if you guys have any further questions or if you just need help uh setting it up or any other portion of the monoview system give our tech support a call the guys are here monday through friday to answer any questions you guys have for us as always i really appreciate you guys watching these videos and thank you for choosing monoview you guys have a good day